So here we are in the after ride. And what's my take? This can get you into a hell of a lot of problem really, really fast. Fortunately, it was dry out. Anything over 4,000 RPM, first, second, third, or fourth gear, the, the back tire was spinning. Even with me at 350 pounds on this thing, it was breaking that 240 tire loose really easy. Um, didn't like under 3,000 RPM with a big guy like me on it. So you just downshift the gear, and it was something spectacular. That's the only word I could have for it. They are quite quite a machine. Um, the clutch engagement is right, right at the grip. I stalled the bike once because of that. But other than that, um, the shifter was unbelievably easy. Uh, of course, the suspension is probably not adjusted for someone of my weight. But um, that could be probably changed. I know they are adjustable. So when we hit some decent sized bumps, it did resonate through my back. But I'm a cruiser guy too, so the foot forward foot position was outstanding. Um, I know I have knee problems. That's why I love my vision. I'm able to move my feet around. But in the 40 minutes that we were out, there was no problem at all on this machine. Uh, my legs are feel great um, The display is phenomenal uh, a little strange looking down and not seeing any headlight or big fairing in front of you okay, so I got one hell of a fairing in front of me and all kinds of protection, but uh, You want to have a lot of fun and If you got the opportunity to test ride one of these things, it's quite substantial quite amazing and if you're one of the fortunate ones that's got all kinds of funds to purchase one and you're in a cruiser want a cruiser this is definitely the one to go for 2017 x diablo s 156 horsepower and uh like i said you definitely know it's there all right everyone have a great one Italians know how to do a bike. Alright guys, peace out.